Hello and welcome back. Today's video is all about one of the picture shelf range from IKEA. This is Everything Guitar. Anybody thinking about installing shelving would think about how far do the shelves jut out from the wall. And of course anybody that's looking to preserve a sense of space may want some very narrow shelving. And in this instance IKEA do a range called picture shelves. But they're not necessarily for pictures, they can be used for anything within that specific gap. There are various types that you can get from Ikea. The type I'm going to be covering today is called Moslander. Now if you're wondering why this video is on a guitar-based YouTube channel, then don't worry because I will go over the tools needed to install the shelving and also some things that Ikea doesn't even tell you. I will outline the picture shelf range in terms of the choice of sizes, colours, as well as giving a rundown of tools required for the non-expert home installation. For guitarists, it turns out that this particular set of IKEA picture shelves has an interesting and useful application for us musos. So keep watching, like and subscribe. Look for Moslander. Now if you type this in on the website, you'll find the shelves. Check the IKEA website for stock. There will be a display section in store, so you can actually go to the store and you'll see a whole range of picture shelves in one particular section of the store. So if it says on the website it's in stock, that means they really do have it and it really is on the floor. You don't have to go to the warehouse part or any other parts, it should be in that main area. So next it's really deciding which size do you want. There are two sizes, the two hole and the three hole. The two hole is 55 centimeters, which is 21 and a half inches long. The cost of that is five pounds in UK prices. Or you can go for the longer three hole version, which is 115 centimeters, which equates to 45.27 inches. And in British pounds, it's nine pounds. There are weight restrictions. So for the smaller 55 centimeter shelf, there's a weight restriction of five kilograms. And on the longer 115 centimeter picture shelf, there's a max load of 7.5 kilograms. Now as a point for guitarists, it's worth noting that say an average Boss effects pedal weighs roughly in the region of 0.4 kilograms. So you can imagine 10 Boss pedals on one of these shelves, well, it's going to be four kilograms. So 15 of them is going to be six kilograms. So you are going to be underweight. And I calculate roughly speaking, depending on which pedals you have, but roughly 15 Boss pedals will sit on one of these shelves. So you'll be within specifications. There's a choice at the moment in terms of when I did this video, which is the end of 2021, start of 2022. The colors are white, black, pink, a white stained pine effect. There's a light natural wood looking birch effect. And there's a darker wood walnut effect. I went for the stained pine effect. So you'll need to measure your wall and decide roughly where these shelves would go if you go for the long, the short or a combination of both. So I measured from the left, from the right and then I placed the shelf roughly on the floor below. So placement of the shelf, the first shelf, the lowest shelf for me was quite crucial. For guitarists, definitely measure your pedals 
to work out how many rows of 115 centimeters you are going to need, taking into account weight. You will need a drill, drill bits, between, well for me, I decided between four and six millimeters, so I actually had a four, a five, and a six millimeter drill to hand. And you do need specific type drill bits. You want masonry drills if you're drilling into wool. But do consult someone like in a hardware shop or a friend if you're unsure. You will need a hammer, some screws. Now IKEA in one of the instructions that they give you actually do say you need a flathead screw. So the screws that I used are roughly three and a half centimeters long. The head is roughly seven millimeters wide, the very head that takes the screwdriver, and the actual shaft size is about four millimeters. And of course, when you select screws, you need to select the wall sockets as well, plastic wall sockets. So I just had a bunch of them, and the one I selected had a width of round about six millimeters. So I knew my drill bit from four millimeters to five millimeters I knew I was getting into the ballpark and I could then decide as I go along exactly how wide. Obviously you don't want to make the whole size too wide to start with. You will need a crosshead screwdriver. Certainly have two or three of those around that have got a different head type. Obviously you want the best fitting one for the screw that you select. You'll need a sharp pencil. And then a pencil eraser. You'll need a spirit level, a towel or old blanket as a dust cover, and then a vacuum cleaner or dustpan and brush just to get rid of the dust and the debris. So I started with the lowest height of the first shelf and I wanted my shelf to be higher than my guitars. You can then mark underneath or above the shelf at either end, maybe even in the middle, and then mark left and right when you've absolutely decided where you're going to place that shelf. So make sure you get the height right first with the spirit level, both sides be absolutely as clinical as you can with your pencil markings and then mark left and right when you're happy of your placement. Then you've got those as guides for when you need to start marking the holes. Now to decide where you're going to drill you obviously need to test the length of your drill bit through the shelf. So if you've chosen a different type of screw to the one that I chose, then you need to obviously put that screw through the shelf and work out how far it protrudes and then work out if your wall socket is long enough to contain it once it goes into the wall. So you're then trying to mark those three drilling areas and whilst observing the spirit level and the left and right. Once you've got at least the center one marked, the center drill point marked and the right drill point marked, you can then literally just draw a line and then measure between the two, keep double checking, flip the shelf backwards and forwards and double check. And then you can literally measure a line along those two to the left drill point and then mark a little area there so I had a crosshead with a kind of target area, target circle that goes about four millimetres. And then I was just tipping the board backwards and looking at that and just kept trying to align it and just be absolutely certain that where I was about to drill it is in the right place. Remember, your fingers are precious. Just think about what you're doing before you do it if you're not that experienced. And usually if you just think about it and just go carefully, things will be all right. If you're unsure, ask around for advice. So you drill a pilot hole. I drilled mine in the center. So I drilled four millimeter and then I tested that against the plug. Then I drilled a five millimeter, tested it against the plug. And then I went six millimeters testing against the plug. Now, if you feel like it's that plug is just about to go in, but not quite. You can put the drill back in and just etch out around that area and just enlarge that hole very slightly with the existing drill bit. 
But I felt that when I went from five millimetres, I felt I could safely go to six millimetres and do the same. Once you get to six millimetres, then that means that you can, if you want to, check your left and right again against that. But you've now got that definite hole that you can see from the centre hole of the shelf. You can just look along it and just double check those pencil markings right and left. So always measure, check and spirit level as you keep going along. Now you put the wall sockets in, so you can sort of place them in. You feel that it might be a bit tight, so you just tap in with the hammer. So you can tap them all the way in so they become flush with the wall. And don't forget to erase your pencil markings around that wallpaper because once that shelf's in place, some of the pencil markings may still show. So now you can hold the shelf up and then start to screw in, making sure that the screw is going into the socket. Fix the other two screws in position. Once you've done that, then you want to do a final safety inspect. So look along the wall, just make sure that the, the shelf is screwed in all the way to the wall, that there's no wobbling or any other movement in the shelf that those wall sockets are holding. When I did my vision inspection, it was fine, no problem, looked good. So then I was happy to then do a first test and for me, I was sticking guitar effects pedals on the shelf. So I went with a combination of boss pedals and some slightly lighter pedals, just in case. I just wanted to see whether it would hold and it was fine. So in summary, I'm pleased with the results and I think it looks great. I think it's quite cheap. I don't think it was that difficult to fit the shelves, but a lot of care and measuring has to be taken if you want to do this job correctly. I hope this video helped you. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ooh.